and he personnel mines. Mm -hmm. But this last uh, point or, or pillar mm -hmm. is not of interest to us in Egypt because Egypt is not a party mm -hmm. to Ottawa Convention which requires its uh, member. But in fact, it's a global issue. It is very important issue. Mm -hmm. You know, the Northwest Coast mm -hmm. is a very interesting uh, area in Egypt. Mm -hmm because it was the battlefield mm. of the, uh, one of the main battlefields of the Second mm. World War. Mm. Al -Alamein battle. Until Al Alamein. Mm. Al Alamein was the uh, major battle. Mm. In fact, we can say that there were two Al Alamein battles. Mm. One in July, Mm. 1942, which mm. was a kind of aesthetic battle, mm. very similar to our experience during the war of attrition. Mm -hmm. It was a war of attrition mm -hmm. when the British retreated, withdrew in front mm. of the uh, Nazi advance mm. until El Alamein. And on the map, you would be able to find that distance between the coastline and the Katara Depression is mm. the shortest at El Alamein. Mm -hmm. Coastline, Katara Depression. Mm -hmm. You measure, you find that the distance between El Alamein and the Katara Depression is the shortest. So defendable, I would say, a defendable line. Mm -hmm. Uh, the British built their fortifications at Lalamein and uh, they made their stand there. It was their last stand. Mm -hmm. If they were, uh, they were not able mm -hmm. to seize it, mm -hmm. if they were broken mm -hmm. at Lalamein, mm -hmm. I would say that the whole picture of the world of today Mm. could have been completely changed. Mm. And that's why Churchill used to say, before Al Alamein, we were not able to win a battle. Mm. And after Al Alamein, we lost no battle. It was a turning point. Mm. So, uh, the Northwest Coast, mm. I'm talking about the uh, battlefield, yeah. mm. but that coast, in, mm. in fact, and the explosive remnants mm. that are still killing Egyptians until today of the uh, uh, Second World War, mm. inhibited Egyptians, prevented Egypt. Mm. from passing the coast mm. into a hinterland, a desert hinterland. Mm. And that desert hinterland mm. is internationally known mm -hmm. to have plenty of resources, natural mm. resources, mm. oil, gas, Arab land, land good for grazing, mm. Uh, mineral resources, mm. etc. Mm -hmm. So in order to be able to reach that hinterland, mm. we have to mine clear. Very mm. simple. So what have you been able to achieve up till now in the five leg strategy? Yes, okay. I'll tell you now in mm. figures, I would say. Mm. Uh, so far, the unit of the army collaborating with us has been able to clear a mm. total of 57,440 acres. Fadan. Mm. We uh, uh, provided the unit, that unit of the army, mm. with latest technologies mm. in the field of mine clearing, detection and clearing. Came up to my knowledge that uh, there's a robot designed to 
No, robots, of course, robots are there. Mm. But robots are not uh, designed to work in desert, to work mm. under the very extreme conditions mm. of the Northwest coast. Mm. A robot mm. can handle uh, a terrorist uh, explosion, for instance, in uh, uh, an urban area, mm. but not in the desert. No, but I know that they did design a special robot for especially for the mining uh, the land. I know, I, 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 follow <laughs> I, I, tell you, I, I follow all the innovations mm. in this field. Mm. Uh, and uh, we, in coordination mm. with the Corps of Military Engineers, mm. we acquire for them mm. the best technology available. Mm. So we supplied that unit with 250 so far, because we are going to make further procurement in the future. Mm. We supplied them with 250 detectors, mm. uh, 25 bomb locators, mm. uh, 250 protective suits, 250 protective shoes. Mm. Uh, also with uh, a very interesting uh, vehicle, which mm. is anti-mine armored vehicle with uh, uh, detecting instruments mm -hmm. uh, and also a mechanical demining machine that would mm -hmm. go into the, f the mine field and break mm -hmm. the mines, in fact. But your so efforts reached as well uh, victims assisted. Exactly, because uh, I told you that mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I made the correction that it was not demining only, but it was mine action, including uh, victim assistance. Mm -hmm. In victim assistance, we created a, a database mm -hmm. on victim on, on survivors of mine incidents. Mm -hmm. At this moment, we, that database stands at uh, 755 persons. Mm -hmm. We uh, supplied 241 of them with artificial uh, limbs and prosthesis support. Mm. And uh, currently, we moved from the prosthesis support to uh, economic enablement mm. through four uh, non-governmental organizations that uh, for whom we built the capacities mm. in order to enable them to manage funds to uh, uh, enable the uh, survivors of man incidents to income generate to uh, in, in, in embark on income generating mm. activities. Uh, I think you adopt as well the special uh, strategy to raise the awareness of people there. Yes, uh, uh, after studying the uh, local context, mm. because local content context is very important mm. for. Uh, mine action, mm. be it victim assistance or uh, mine risk uh, education. Mm. So uh, after studying the local context, we, uh, col in collaboration with uh, Egyptian artists and designers, we issued the mine risk education materials, all of them, and we, s so far, we conducted two uh, uh, campaigns mm -hmm. uh, to educate uh, mine risk to the population there, and especially to the most vulnerable category of the population there, meaning the kids, young kids and uh, uh, school children. Recently, they were playing a film in, uh, in the CNN about the, the life of one of those who was working yes. in uh, the, the mining of these lands. Yes. And how his family, of course, suffering from his job. Of course, because mm. uh, while doing so, Why take the they, uh, they, they run a, a very big risk that would, mm. in many cases, mm. end by... Mm. End their lives. Uh, by killing or by uh, creating mm. uh, an amputation or causing an amputation mm. of one limb or, or more. Maybe, in my point of view, the best 
thing that you need to stress on is raising the awareness of people living we do in that. the area. We do that. Maybe replacing them to other parts of the land. No, they would not leave the land. Even if, 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 if this notion of displacing them yeah. would be evoked, yeah. we would lose their confidence instantly. Even if they are losing their life? Even, even so, they have been there since 1942. Mm -hmm. And now you are telling them, move from me. My goodness, that would mark the end of it. That was the questions that I kept asking myself. What keeps them there? Why not leaving this land to a peaceful, a peaceful land? Why shouldn't we be able to demine it? Mm -hmm. This is my question to you. No, I stress on my point, leave the, la leave the dangerous <laughs> land to, to good no, land. No, no. First of all, it mm. I, I, you cannot say mm. that we have been able to mark all these suspected areas. Oh. And uh, uh, all of a sudden there could be a, a, a mine that pop up and explode in an unknown and previously, non previously unknown area. Mm -hmm. So this issue of asking the local population to leave the land is cannot be said, cannot be uttered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what else have you been able to achieve in this field? So I told you about the number of uh, victims we were able to supply with uh, prosthesis support. And now, happily, we are moving very steadily uh, to the economic enablement, which is because our strategy paper on victim assistance has a very clear cut objective, mm -hmm. which is reintegrate back into the society mm -hmm. the survivors of mine incidents. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. give them prosthesis support, mm -hmm. enable them to move on their own and at the same time uh, uh, empower them economically through income generating activities. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, now we are experimenting in income generating activities mm -hmm. through female victims and female family members of those who were killed by, uh, the, uh, by mines. Mm. And now, we are now studying mm. how to expand this process mm. of economic enablement mm. to the rest of the uh, victim population. Mm. Uh, that was one of, almost, that was your main dream. Yeah, it you is my dream now to come to the point mm. where I can stand tall and tell the Egyptian society, we have been able to clear the last mine. If I do that mm -hmm. while still alive, that would be my, the achievement mm -hmm. of my life. That was the last point in our last episode, and with the same point, we end this episode. All the pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. It was my pleasure to 